Yellow duckies and welcome back to Queen's Wish the Conqueror. My name is Viola and we're here at the Enchanted Coin Board now. I've been staring at this. Not it. Hmm. Okay, let's try this again. The other key I didn't have. Okay, so I didn't even need the coins. All right, okay. Oh boy. Um. Hmm. You emerge at the far end of the refuge. You look up and stumble. You are overwhelmed with claustrophobia and vertigo at the same time. You're at the edge of a cavern, the largest you've ever seen. It extends far past what your eyes can see. I don't know if I want to approach this group. Let's save first. Some of the wisps float close to you. They drift in a lazy circle around you. They have humanoid traits but you can't make out any details. They are faint, delicate, harmless, magical constructs. Eventually, they float away. Your eyes slowly adjust and you can take in more of the underworld home of the Nice. The cave is many miles across and dotted with stone towns, fields of mushrooms, and forests of fungal trees. You can see, because the air seems to glow, everything has a strange luminescence. This is an astonishing discovery. Haven sages have long debated if something as ludicrous as any an underground nation could ever exist. It can, though it is infused with magical power and hatred for the people. Oh, great, so I wouldn't even be able to. Region, this region of the Nice Caves is dead, like nothing is growing here. There are lots of crystals, enormous, glorious formations that would be worth a fortune on the surface. There's nothing living, but shades don't count. Insubstantial wisps float all around you. They merge from one crystal, drift to another, and sink into it. Um, maybe I shouldn't go this way yet. <laughs> A city looms over the center of the enormous Nice cavern. You can see it just ahead, surrounded by fields of mushroom. You kneel and look at the fungi. You learned about them during one of Sutter's in interminable lessons about life in the field. They are edible for humans. It makes sense. The Nice are human, in a way. You approach these nice farmers, they turn, set down their strange stone tools and walk away. When you follow, you find that they are fading away. With every step they take, they are a little less there, then they are gone. Okay. To the north, you can see an enormous tower protruding from the wall of the cavern. It's the largest building in the land of Nice, looking out over all of their domain. Between you and it, you see 
nobody, no farmers, no travelers, no guards, just the free path to the heart of their land. A man in bright clothes scampers down the road towards you, a court jester. The man flounces about in an absurd suit of garnish of garish red and green, a black mask and a walking stick with jingling bells. Haven hasn't had jesters in centuries, but Dealey loved to torment you by dressing you as one when you were little. He skips over to you, flips up his mask to cover his greasy matted hair. He has a manic grin and pale green skin and Ario blessed. I heard a princess of Haven wanders this land. Welcome. He bows until his nose almost touches his knees. Periot says your service. Would you like to hear a joke? Who told you about me? He hold, his smile falters for a second. Then he playfully wags a finger at you. You're a sly one. You know the answer to that one. The niece says to He shouts, No, don't say their name. Loose words are how I was trapped here. He wraps his arms around his chest in a tight hug. I won't talk about them with you. I'd rather tell jokes. What are you doing down here? His smile vanishes and body stiffens. You don't want to hear about that. How about a joke instead? Actually, I really want to know what you were doing down here. He rocks back and forth. No, no, no. Then soothes himself with a tight self-hug. Best leave secrets to be. I will help save you. When you try to touch him, there's a flash of light. You're thrown back. Peer out smiles. Biddy is shuddering. He's in pain. They said that would happen. He lets out a shrill laugh and takes his back. What was that? Pain for me and still Haven always gets its way. I learned everything too much about he points at the spire to the north. Then had to pay the cost to live here always. He cackles madly, shaking his stick at you. I'm willingly paid that or beaten. I willingly paid or that or beaten. I don't want to talk about and talk anymore. I'd rather tell you a dra- joke. Fine, tell me a joke. He lowers his mask and covers his face and asks with excitement, What's brown and sticky? What? He shouts a stick. He waves his walking stick in your face. The niece loved that one. None of them know what stick is, though. Want to hear another one? Tell me another trick. An Owen, a swamp runner, and a blessed walk into a bar. The bartender looks at them and says, What is this? A joke? The period, sp- period spins and curtsies. Want to hear another? Sure. What kind of tea is really hard to swallow? You shrug. Reality. We will all die here. Want another? No more jokes, please. Then my job is done. He pirouettes away, relieved that nothing ha- horrible happened to him. People that disappear. You enter Morning's farmland. It is irrigated. Enormous force has been brought to bear to dig channels through the solid rock. The water somehow sustains the strange fungi that grow in neat rows. You see isolated groups of yeast tending to the crops. By now you are looking at the landscape with Sutter's eyes, watching for places where you might be ambushed. Alas, that seems to be everywhere. Lizards. I don't like lizards. I don't want the lizards. Don't make me go against the lizards. You get close to these new farmers, they fade away into nothing. I'm pretty sure that no matter what, everyone is going to fade into nothing. These niece homes have been abandoned. The residents fled into the fungal forest when you approached. Some of the cook fires are still hot. The homes are interesting. Sorry about the background noise, guys. From the outside, they look like vole habitat, vole buildings. The interiors look distinctly oriel. They have that sort of old, elegant style. The poor yukata are nowhere represented.
Not quite sure what's going on with that background noise, guys. It's really weird. Almost sounds like somebody somebody's drilling, but whoa, whoa. It's farms. There's a huge farm here tucked away in the massive stone alcove. All the farmers fled, but all you can see are hundreds and hundreds of rows of nicely thinned fungi, vibing in the glittering air. There's one side you are to one. You can see a campfire to the north and the far side of the irrigated trenches. Are they going to jump out at me? Is anything going to jump out at me? Should I be worried? Should I feel threatened? There is no clue to any of those. Is bored. It's not. There's a pit in the middle of the farm. All the irrigation trenches flow into it. There's a bonfire on the north side of the pit. A small hunched over niece warms herself by it. Let's go talk to her, I guess. There's an old niece woman sitting cross-legged by the, this fire. Her hair is thin. Her light gray skin bears a network of faint, dense wrinkles. She peeks a chunk of dry fungus into the fire and motions for you to join her. I am Azad. These are our farms. I expected you. I thought the invader would come for the treasure. Who are you? I work these farms. I am the oldest, so I am the leader. It's my responsibility to greet you. I have worked these farms since I was a child. You were born in the underworld. Of course, your niece. How old are you? She chuckles. Polite child, I do not know. We do not reckon time by the sun. Time is difficult for us, but in your surface years I might be 150 or so. That's very old. All these sip elixir. The Ariel offered it to us for our favors. Oh, great. Tell me about this place. This is a farm. One of our most productive. We grow edible fungus and healthy animals to sustain the niece. Is this food I could eat? Of course, all our food is edible to humans. Niece are humans. And what do you grow? Fungal trees for wood and fruit, mushrooms for meals, and mushroom steaks. Livestock for all sorts of purposes. How can plants grow down here far from the sun? Magic. So, you said something about a treasure. Of course, this is a prosperous farm. We have wealth. If you will spare us, you can have it. You only need to recover it. It is in the deep farm, surrounded by mushroom fields. That is very generous of you. I'm only an old woman. These are not. How could I defy you? I only want you to spare our farm. How can I get down there? She points to the trap door by the pit. Use the garbage chute. It's the fastest way. She snaps her fingers. It's unlocked now. Only... I must be fair. I must warn you. What sort of warning? The chute will be a one-way trip. You will have to find another way up. Also, you will get dirty. She grins broadly at you. Good luck, invader. Hmm. What if I don't want your treasure? What if I just want to be nice? You know, I'm sure it's a trap. We don't really have another easy way to get down here. And I doubt we'll be able to have a fort. Need somewhere to 
rest. I don't really want to have to fight him. I suppose let's Whoa When you get close to the tower there is a shattering explosion. You fall to the ground. When you rise again you see that something has exploded the land around the tower. The building around it have been shattered. The flames and smoke billow upward. Already the acrid smoke is burning the air. What are the knees doing? Whoa! This is the inner sanctum of the Nice. They have mostly destroyed it. The outbuildings have been shattered by powerful magic. Black smoke pours out of them, turning the air in the cave hazy. You can just barely make out the main tower of the fortress to the north. It's still intact for now. You are close to the main tower of the Nice sanctum. At last they are making a stand here. A long line of soldiers are waiting for you in front of the entry double doors. When they see you, they ready their weapons. They are prepared to die in desperate final defense. You suspect you should not start this battle until you fully equipped. Okay. Um. Yeah. Back out. Quickly. I just want to know are they the are they the the source of the problem? <laughs> You're at the edge of a hunting ground. The cave floor is marked by long scorched stretches. They're all crumbling bones. Every most most of them from humans or mirelings. You can't tell they've been too polarized. You smell sulfur and rot. In the distance, strange orb-like creatures hover over. Okay, that's not. Gosh, I, I can't quick travel anywhere. I, I'd have to go back all the way. All the way back. Close to the nice central city, they ex you expect a guard, so travelers are greeting by envoys. Instead, you find nobody. The city has been abandoned. Nobody is at the gates. The nice are seemingly abandoning their lands to you. Have you already won just by finding them? No. They must be waiting for you somewhere. You enter the nice city expecting an ambush at any moment. It's still empty. No town folks, no guards. Nice architect architecture is unique. Low stone buildings, large open plazas for meetings, gardens with fungal trees. Finally, a huge tower at the north end of the town. Ah, bad. That's what I needed. Why is there blood? Should I be worried that there's blood? That door's locked. Okay. Actually, no, wait. There's another. No. It's empty. Okay. Towers north, so let's go south. See what this building is. Oh wait, guys! I know what that sound is. That is the dryer. 
Okay guys, um, that's actually going to be it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell icon to keep up to date on all the videos. And remember to free the rare wildflower in you. Bye-bye!